there's something to be said for the fact that these changes wouldn't kick in until after the next election. However, the legislation will go through the parliament before the next election. So it would then require a legislative change to change it back um, after the next election if there was a change of government. So it's not sort of, it's not a GST equivalent situation where you say before the election, if we win, we're going to implement a GST as John Howard did. The, the steps to implement will have taken place. Um, I guess if people are really in uproar over this, it could be changed back. What I'm hearing from your callers, among others, is that, you know, the broader population won't be up in arms about this. Um, and that's a consideration for me too, as I consider, well, mm. who in my electorate is affected? How many people are they? What is the net impact on those people financially? Who in my electorate might stand to gain, for example, from the proceeds of this uh, process, which could be redirected to things like superannuation on paid parental leave? And then what is the net impact on the population of the country and what is the best decision for everyone? This is the kind of process that I'm working through this week.